Looking outside the clubroom as students pass by us, both me and Yuri stop just outside the door with their expression remaining the same. I can't help but breathe a sigh of relief now that performing is all over. We did it, Yuri. We did the thing! <laughs> we did the thing! <laughs> Seems to lighten up a bit. I don't think I've ever agreed with the colloquial... The colloquial... I cannot... The, I know the word! I just don't know how to say it! Colloquialism. There you go. Colloquial... Colloquialism. The colloquialism this much in my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well said! You did totally didn't mess up that like five times. I'd say everyone did pretty well today. Except Natsuki. <laughs> me too. That makes me the silence that makes me feel unsure about everything fills the air. So Yuri breaks that silence. Zero, please listen to me real quick. Uh oh. I don't know the sound of this for whatever reason. Is something wrong? No, nothing is wrong. Just. Would it be too much to ask if we visit the library first? The library? Is there a special event going on in there? I don't remember the fortune teller being there last year. I mean, I wasn't expecting this, but I'm not opposed to it. Something going on there? Well, no, but... After what we just went through, I don't feel up to being around a lot of people right now. I'd much prefer to read your book some more until I feel ready enough. I hope you understand. And judge me at all over the whole cupcake debacle. So it would be very mean of me to her to say, No, let's go outside right now. I smile on my face. I step close to her and grab her hand until our fingers match. I mean, I think even regardless of the cupcake debacle, it would just be mean to say that to anybody. And regardless of that. <laughs> no, Yuri! We're going outside! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your personal feelings. We're going outside, and you're gonna like it. <laughs> I do. This is our first date, after all. So that includes stuff you want to do. Besides, what a good spot in my book, anyways. Usual smile brightens the mood. Thank you. I'll lead the way. I'm happily following her to the library. I can't help but realize that I don't quite remember where it is. It'd be kind of embarrassing if I were to say that to Yuri, so maybe I'll just keep my mouth shut. Okay, finally at the library. Much more quiet in here compared to out in the halls, and the lack of students in here makes things all the better. It's been way too long since I was last here. But today being the festival and all, I'm surprised that this place is still open. Taking into account there's no events going on here. Maybe the principal's overlooking everything that happens in here today. Doesn't matter to me either way. With our hands still together, Yuri guides me over to one of the vacant tables. After we take a seat, she pulls, a book, she pulls my book out of her bag and we resume our reading position. So this is how our date starts, huh? Not complaining. Are we gonna get a... a t oh, yeah, no, we're not? Oh, okay, we're, not, we're not getting that? Okay, then. We're not getting a story... Story thing. You guys are spared for now. Oh god, we're spared. Not gonna lie. This was a, that was a great idea. Me and her made considerable progress, and so we're actually pretty close to the end of the story. Granted, the whole battle sequence with chaos in my story was excited and all. I had to remind myself not to get so worked up during. Here his hand breaks away from mine as she reaches over to close the book. I think we should call it here for now. I nod at her as she puts my book away in her bag. Yeah, definitely. I forgot how exciting this part was. It is now that I realize I'm supposed to keep my voice down in the library, but Yuri doesn't seem to care. I'll admit, that was quite fun to read. Although I don't quite understand how they were able to find barrels of TNT on the island. Well, you see, Yuri. <laughs> if you just if you just look really hard, eventually you'll just you, you, you just you know you maybe you're living on Crash Bandicoot Island, you know? There's TNT everywhere there. <laughs> The same islands the crash goes on. Nonetheless, I'll add that to my list of best action sequences that I've read. How many action sequences have you read? <laughs> this girl's way too cute. I love it. Nice. By the way, how are you feeling? Is he overthinking again? Much better now. How about? The sound of my stomach interrupts her. 
Not cool. I look towards the ground, slightly embarrassed. Uh, I think that answered it for you. Yuri giggles to herself. Then that settles it. Shall we get going? I happily approach her, take her hand in mine, and look at her. Let's do this. Excitement slowly builds in me as we step outside of the library. Back in the hallway, there aren't as many students as there were before. Maybe they've all gone to check out the events outside or something. That's exactly where me and Yuri are headed. Walking down the school halls with Yuri like this has a rather different feel to it. It's not unwelcome by any means. As we walk past the door to our club room, Mayors managed to pick up on the sound of a door opening behind us, with which I instinctively turned my head towards the sound. And sure enough, Sayori is shown walking out the door. The look in her face as she's the both of us sends me into a slight panic. Oh god, no. She knows now. But of all things she could possibly do, she gives me a bright, friendly smile as if she's saying, Way to go! That running through my mind, I didn't really smile back at her, I look back over to Yuri. I'm guessing didn't notice Sayori at all. What is this music? Are we on a quest? We're on a love quest. <laughs> quest for love. A quest with love, well, not even for love, because we already have love. A, a, a love quest. A quest with love involved. <laughs> the quest featuring love. <laughs> We're almost to the school entrance. Just a flight of stairs to go, and we'll be outside. The excitement in me is steady. Now I think about it, I don't really know what exactly me and Yuri are going to do. Or what we should be... Or what we should be up to wanting to do. There you are! Just the person I was looking for! Oh man! I bet this is a lovely character, considering it's a bunch of question marks! Me and Yuri stopped dinner, checked the sound of a deep voice I don't hear around here often. As our hands are turned to ourselves, the both of us turn around to see the principal. Oh! I thought it was Wallace. <laughs> okay. There you are! Just the person I was looking for! <laughs> Their hands are turned to ourselves. All right, see the principal. He's much taller than most of us. In his mid-40s, a receding hairline, and a cigar on him at all times. What, who is this guy? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck does the principal just smoking a cigar? I don't think he's allowed to do that. <laughs> I, 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 I'm gonna be honest. I don't think he's allowed to do that. <laughs> Why is the principal a mob boss? <laughs> Oh my god, our principal's the penguin from Batman! <laughs> what could he possibly want? Man, guys, I'm- uh, guys, let's see. The principal, you know, he's the father of the bully, he smokes a cigar. Uh, clearly, he's a good guy. Like, come on, guys. He, he what goes around smoking a cigar, is the father of the guy who bullies us constantly. I mean, clearly the principal's a good guy. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't think he's gonna turn out to be a bad guy, you know? Like, well, come on. Smoking in schools is banned and it was socially acceptable. It's like, imagine how it is nowadays, but the principal would get fucking attacked. <laughs> he would get killed. <laughs> it is Japan, so maybe things are different. If anything, I think Japan is more strict on it than we are. <laughs> I was like, Japanese schools are stricter, or even, or even more stricter than American schools, I'm pretty sure. I'm just like... Other things in general. <laughs> and, yeah, but besides, yeah, no, this isn't even in Japan. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, like, <laughs> me and Zara both thought the same thing. I was like, besides, yeah, this isn't even in Japan. But yeah, no, Japanese schools are like way more fucking. Like, if you get in a fight in a Japanese school, there's a good chance you're getting expelled. <laughs> like, like fucking over here, like you get like, oh, you, you just probably might get suspended, stuff like that. You get in a fight, is you're probably getting it's like eighty percent chance you're getting expelled, kid. <laughs> like it's over. As he approaches us, all the excitement of body starts fading away, but I'm somehow able to not let it ruin my mood. Um... Hi there? His somewhat serious expression never changes. Okay, I'm giving him a New York- I'm giving him a New York accent. He's got a- he's got a- he's got a cigar. Yes, hello! I would like to have a word with you for a moment. In a comfortable silence plays Ozzy directs his vision towards Yuri and squints his eyes. In private? Tone of voice makes her immediately look away from him. It made me feel a bit uncomfortable, too, which is a little uncalled for. What could be so important to resort to that? 
or I comply with what he wants, I shove my head slightly towards Yuri. I'll be right back. She doesn't react at all. She just stays in place. <sighs> Get this over with. Walking up, approaching the principal. Turns away from Yuri, and we walk in silence to his office. The whole time, my mind is racing, mainly about whether Yuri will be all right and what he could possibly want to talk about. <laughs> Japanese schools are not of the anime's betray of. Yeah, it's like, it's like there's Japanese schools, and then there's anime Japanese schools. <laughs> like they're slightly similar, but they're not that similar. You know, like there's some similarities here and there. I think, I think the only thing, funnily enough, I think that's different in like anime ones is that yeah, it's like they're not as strict <laughs> in the anime schools. You know, anime's got fucking kids getting in fights, and then it's like, oh, you rabble rousers, <laughs> stop it. Meanwhile, actual Japanese school, that kid's, like, expelled. He's gone. <laughs> Does take too long for us to get there. Once we're inside, we both take a seat, and I can't help but get distracted by all the papers and whatever on the wall. I was on the list of top 50 students that gets updated every month. Okay, so that is just a thing. Okay, there's just a top 50 students on the wall. All right, that's weird. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> I'm surprised that Monica would be number one on that list. Jeez. Oh, well, yeah. Where does Yuri stand on there? Let me see. Three, four, five. Ahem. Then just snaps directly to him as I anticipate what he wants to talk about. So, voiced off, how is the school you've been treating? I have the same thing before I speak up. You know, I'm nervous. What is this like? Freaking, this really is a mafia boss. What is this man's got his own mafia theme music? <laughs> It really is a mafia boss. This man runs a school and a gang. <laughs> As they think before I speak up, mainly out of nervousness. Well, everything's going okay so far. Besides like some people being not very nice to me and my... I don't know how you'd react if I were to say girlfriend. Best friend? I don't really have any other complaints. Whoa there, my boy. Don't feel that you have to hide anything from me. I've seen how you were with that girl, with that Goyle earlier. <laughs> the Goyles. This thorn is still rather powerful, but it's surprisingly calm enough to where I don't feel too upset. I'm guessing that means he knows about me and Yuri. Besides that, though, you were talking about my son, Wallace. Is that right? Oh, yeah. I completely forgot he was his dad. But for whatever reason, I still don't have an enemy to make eye contact with him. Yes, him. Well, I want you to know that I had a word with him a few days ago about his recent behavior. Good. It's about time. My voice seems to lighten up a little bit. I want you to tell me if he ever does anything to you again. Can you do that? Hmm. I mean, I see he's looking out for me, but why didn't he mention Yuri as well? What was that? What was with his tone of voice earlier today? <laughs> oh, why does he sound like that? <laughs> and why does he sound like he's from New York? <laughs> Maybe I'll worry about that later. Look up to him as he lights a cigar and nod at him, but not as enthusiastically as I normally do. Understood. I mean, yes! I... He laughs to himself and blows out a puff of smoke while I look away in embarrassment. <laughs> You're fine, my boy. Now, is there anything else that's bothering you recently? The mama mood has gone upwards a bit, thanks to being a bit more relaxed. Also, the smell of the room doesn't agitate me, so that helps too. I'm going to look straight at him now. No, not that I can think of. Classes are going okay, and I've made a few new friends, so I'd say it's pretty good. He flicks a cigar in a nearby ashtray as a small smile makes an appearance. Good, good. I believe our time here is done. You may leave now. A wave of relief washes over me as I get up from my seat and slightly bow to him. Okay, thank you. As I turn and head towards the door, he speaks up again with his authoritative tone. Oh, and one more thing. Immediately stop in my tracks and turn around to face him brings curiosity. I instantly go behind my back. Yes? Mom from earlier makes a return as he picks up his briefcase. I didn't know yet. What? He has a my favorite character. <laughs> I love him so much. 
The more I learn about him, the more the greater he becomes. <laughs> it's just gonna fucking. It's just. It's just. It's gonna just. It's just gonna get more and more just absurd. He's gonna like leave in a limo. <laughs> like he's gonna. <laughs> He's gonna somehow have a limo on a principal salary. Like, he's just gonna... <laughs> he's gonna have, like, guys and suits around him at some point. All this, and he's like the principal. Like, that's just, man, I love him so much. <laughs> Say hi to the missus for me. <laughs> he's gonna shoot us. No! <laughs> One of the endings, he shoots us, and he's like... Well, kid, I didn't want to have to do this to you, but I have to put them they make you sleeping with the fishes. <laughs>
as we come across the stand that's being run by another member of the anime club. One of those knockdown of the bottle games run by a stronger, taller guy named Fly. What kind of name is Fly? Fucking Fly? Marty McFly? Oh my god, it's back to the future! We gotta, we guys, we gotta save the path. Maybe, maybe his parents are trying to fuck. I don't know. That was a weird movie. <laughs> ah! Oh no, we didn't lock him either. <laughs> oh, all these lockable characters. <laughs> we didn't lock him. Sorry. Cringe reference that old save left in. Oh, that's why his name's Fly. I was about to say I was like that would only only a YouTuber would have the name Fly. It's okay, we can just skip it. It's alright. I'll save us. Oh shit, I accidentally made the window smaller. No! I fucked it up. Okay, hold up. There we go. The window should still be fine. Wait, what is it? I don't know. Why does the text slightly look weirder? No! Okay, hold up. I think I fixed it. I think that's how it used to look. Okay, we should be good. Are you interested in it more and more as we approach it? To the point where I stop walking once we're there to see what it's all about. We have a variety of stuffed animals and surprises. Who bought all of those? Driving around for a bit, Fly manages to get our attention. Yeah, that's what I say. <laughs> Who is this man? He's been stealing my intro? <laughs> I was like, Who is this man? Who has been stealing my intro? Well, you know what, Zara? This guy's me now. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, Zara. I'm, I'm, I'm in the mod now. That's me. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. What is up, guys? How's it going? Not gonna lie, caught me off guard a little bit. <laughs> you, you saw him. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! A YouTuber! <laughs> I'd, I'd say that too, to be fair. Hey, Fly, what's going on? Well, not much. Russell's was about to be over soon, so I got time for one more round, if you like, before I got to pack up the shop. May as well. Done this in a while. I have not. I'm not giving him a voice. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't give him a voice. <laughs> I mean, it just sounds the same. I'm sorry, guys. May as well. I've done this in a while. You're gonna already already see what she thinks. Shows a rather blank expression from her. So she's observing everything. I bet she's looking at the stuffed animals as prizes. Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, why did he say okay like this? Okay. That'll be five bucks. Christ. That a bit much. Eh, I don't know if I ever get to do this again. Pulling out the money and handing it to him. He then gives me two tennis balls, to which I give one to Yuri. I'm gonna snap her out of whatever trance she was in, as she gingerly takes one from me. Oh, okay. That's seven feet away from me are 15 aluminum cans, shaped in an upwards triangle. How fun it would be if they had used glass instead of aluminum. I didn't clean up after that. I'm finding more bottles to replace the broken ones. It's gonna be a nightmare. It shouldn't be too bad, though. Aim towards the bottom, and that'll knock most of them out. Right? With that mine and figuring out the best spot to throw. I give it all I've got, and... Oh my god! Hey, not bad! Only two left on the right side. Hoping to the side so Yuri can take her turn. She seems to take the same steps as I do. Except she's still a little more determination on her face. Does really want a prize that bad. He throws and I actually manages to get the last two down. Her face shows unadulterated surprise, which then turns into a big smile. Yeah! Man, I get tired of hearing that. Probably because you only heard it like three or four times today, I bet. Alright, well it looks good. In a somewhat animated fashion, she points to one of the animals. Ramby, please. All three of us stay silent as Fly stares blank later. Yuri, please, that is an elephant. I mean, a rhino. <laughs> On the other hand, I'm tempted to face palm. Um, what? Uh, Fly, she means the rhino toy. She plays a lot of Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> as we're headed, as we're handed our beloved prize, Yuri grabs a hold of her new rhino friend and holds him close to her chest. Smile a bit, as it reminds me of yesterday. We did it, Zero! <laughs> I guess we did. Ellie has a new friend now. Looks away with a level of blush and smile. I suppose so. I'm getting kind of hungry, though. 
Want to go get something to eat? Look, she's calmed down a bit now. Sure, I don't mind. She approaches me and wraps her arms around mine. It makes me blush a bit. Now feeling warm and happy, despite the breeze outside. One of the nearby stands has students from the cooking slash baking club trying their hand at making sushi. Drying it down and agreeing on it with Yuri. I get the salmon nigiri, and Yuri gets the kind with shrimp and cream cheese inside. After paying for everything, we find a seat at a nearby bench and enjoy ourselves. Yuri was even kind enough to bring out her chopsticks from her bag for the both of us. I never liked the sticky feeling from rice on my fingers. It was a self-reference, grr, so it's a reference, grr, yeah, it's a grr, chat, grr, grr, grr. We're enjoying ourselves for a bit. I can't help but notice that Yuri has some extra stuff along with the sushi. Something green and something pink. Oh my god, Cosmo and Wanda? <laughs> I know what wasabi is, and I don't like it one bit, but I don't know what the pink stuff is. <laughs> Better ask her about it. Hey, Yuri, what's that supposed to be? Look at the Prime stuff, gaming dude, I appreciate it. 34 months, let's go! She looks down and picks up the weird pink plant looking thing from her tray with her chopsticks. It's ginger. Have you ever had it before? Nope. Can't say that I have. Can I try it? Sure. It's amazing how we're able to hand each other stuff using just chopsticks. Feels nice. Once I grab hold of it, we can place it in my mouth. Wait, Zero! I forgot to mention! After buying down for a bit, the texture feels nice and crisp, but that's when the burning infiltrates my mouth and travels up my nose. Can't move at all due to its intensity, but it's not enough to make me tear up. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Just wait a bit, it'll go away. Once it dies down a bit, I close my eyes and force myself to swallow, then subsequently take a deep breath. Whew! That was intense. I'm sorry, Zero. I forgot to mention that you shouldn't eat that by itself. I kind of figured that. Here. I raise an eyebrow out of curiosity. She grabs a considerably smaller piece and brings it over my way. I kind of feel reluctant to try it again. But at the same time, I should probably take her word for it. Grabbing a hold of my chopsticks, I place it on one of my sushi and try again. But to my surprise, this is significantly better. The vastly different textures of the ginger and salmon surprisingly go well together. The citrus-like taste of ginger makes everything heavenly. I can help but close my eyes and dreamily smile this time. I think I hear Yuri giggling to herself, but I couldn't care less. I'm enjoying my day! I don't need Yuri to fucking... I don't need Yuri to tell me whether or not... <laughs> I don't need Yuri to fucking be happy about this. And I, I'm enjoying my food! Well, look how cute. Sharing food with each other. That's how you get germs, you know. Wait, what? Oh, is that- Why is he here? <laughs> oh, yeah, all my favorite members of the club. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri. The Indian MC. <laughs> What's happening? Where are we? Natsuki, don't say that. Sharing is caring. How long were we gone? <laughs> it's already sunset. Game broken out of my trance. So Sayori, Natsuki, and Goruto in front of us. That was his name. <laughs> Both the girls are holding giant bags of cotton candy. Maybe I shouldn't be too surprised that Sayori is half gone already. What's going on, guys? We're all done walking around. Now we're going to find a good spot to watch the fireworks tonight. And Bolt of Realization strikes me. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot that was a thing. I immediately look over to Yuri, who's just finished her last sushi. You want to watch them tonight? The expression on her face looks like fireworks are a foreign concept to her. After what I'm guessing is a light bulb going off her head, she returns back to normal. I would love to. What time do they start tonight? When it becomes dark out, so I'm guessing in 30 minutes or so. Excellent. Stuffing her empty sushi tray in her bag, she gets up from her spot on the bench, which causes me to out of instinct. Let's go, Zero. I know the perfect spot for this. I was going to say, Ari looked just as dumbfounded as I do. What could she have in mind? Um, okay. Like long after approaching me and walking away for Natsuki to open her mouth. Hey, shouldn't you two stay here for that? Ari stops in her tracks and turns around to face her. And shouldn't you be filling out the rest of your divorce papers? 
I must say silent with mouths agape. Didn't expect that to come out of her mouth. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Divorce with what? What does that imply? That <laughs> Natsuki's married? To who? <laughs> <laughs> what does that even imply? <laughs> Yuri, what do you mean by this? <laughs> that was a low blow, was it? <laughs> I was like, what does it mean? <laughs> Who does she have? A she was married? <laughs> Is that a diss at her dad? It'd be a really weird diss at her dad. I have to file my dad's divorce papers. He doesn't know how to do it. <laughs> he just... <does> <laughs> He didn't know how. <laughs> All he had to do was write his name. <laughs> reference, girl. It was a reference? Oh, I didn't fucking flew over right over my head. It just felt so random. <laughs> It's like, cause every, it's like, cause especially because they're all the characters are like, oh, damn, got him. And then I'm just like, what? <laughs> I don't want to be playfully racist again, no. Damn, girl, she got you real good. <laughs> Asuka nearly takes her hand and grabs both of Goruto's lips to shut him up. Zip it! Let's just leave these two alone. That, she drags him to wherever the three of them are headed to. Not even Sarah is back to us, she just walks away with them. What even happened just now? I don't know! <laughs> I'm also confused! Feed you Mike reference? In what way? I, I mean, I, I guess I never watched Feed you Mike. Did Feed you Mike get a divorce? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Let's go. Let's get going, Zero. He quickly walks away, and all I can do is catch up with her. I, 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 I don't know. Minutes, but the walk to where we're going has been silent. The way we're going, I know we're heading towards her house. Maybe she wants to watch from her backyard or something? She finally speaks up. I'm sorry, Zero. Just hearing the sadness in her voice makes you grab her hand. I'm going to send a message that I'm not upset with her. Luckily for me, she doesn't resist. What's the matter? Why is she saying that to me? Just... Maybe I shouldn't have said that to Natsuki. So now we're being... Now we're fucking... Now we're, now we're feeling bad about what we fucking... Said to Natsuki. Now we're starting to feel bad. Oh. That. With my support, she still looks to the ground while we walk. It's just... Everything was going so well. For once, I was able to enjoy the festival, and it felt like she was trying to ruin this for me. But well, she really wasn't. Yeah, we all say things we don't mean sometimes. Just try not to worry about it, especially considering I don't even know if it was really a diss at Natsuki. I don't fucking I don't know. That was the weirdest diss ever. <laughs> but don't worry, Yuri. You don't have to apologize. I don't even think not to. I don't. I didn't even really understand it. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. You're good. Chat, I already turned down the music. <laughs> That's all I was like. I literally turned it down in the first few messages. All I'm saying is if everyone's getting mad at me having to turn down the music, that's more the mod's problem than mine. <laughs> I shouldn't have to do that. <laughs> yeah, we all say things we don't mean sometimes. I don't have to worry about it. But I made everyone feel bad. Should have kept my mouth shut. I tie my grip on her in an attempt at comfort. Look, I'm not gonna judge you over something like this. You really shouldn't be getting into people's business like that anyways. And if it helps, she kinda annoyed me too. She doesn't respond to that. I'm pretty sure she's lost in thought right now. I just hope this, this doesn't come back to haunt me. I'm certain it won't. I mean, look what happened after my second day in the club. What happened with you and her wasn't brought up at all the next day. I'm sure it'll be okay. I say that, I just now remember that I did end up talking with Natsuki about it the next day. 
Eh, well, Yuri doesn't know it won't hurt her. In this case, at least. I suppose you're right. Thank you for not judging me over this. No problem. Besides, you know the feeling of saying stuff that makes you feel out of place, and you just hate to have it happen every time. So you're not alone. Our tense is easing up slowly. Mainly mine. At least someone else understands. Walk for a few more minutes and a much more comfortable silence between us. I don't know. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> If like for the for I feel like if like Natsuki was I feel like if Yuri was supposed to say something mean there I feel like she should have actually said something mean that would make sense in context because <laughs> like I feel like it is definitely odd that the mod is playing Yuri saying something like really mean to Natsuki and like I said I didn't even understand how it even was like a mean thing <laughs> like he's just like I was like I feel like that should have been not a Bijou Mike reference. Apparently, from what I'm, from what chat's telling me, is what it was. I was like, Man, I don't think what she said to her should have been a Bijou Mike reference. It probably should have been like an actual mean thing to say to her. <laughs> because like to me, I'm like out of out of context. Saying, shouldn't you be filing your divorce papers to an 18-year-old who hasn't been married seems very random and weird. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't even know if I'd be offended. Like, I'd feel like, what, huh? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Me when the relationship stays afloat by dissing Natsuki. <laughs> Bro, they need to leave Natsuki alone! <laughs> He gets it so bad. It's almost completely dark outside now, and the sounds of the school grounds are now non-existent. After seven minutes pass, we end up walking right past our house. Once I realize what's going on by checking out my surroundings, her facial is a rather relaxed look, as if she has everything all planned out or something. With my curiosity increasing, I tug at her hand lightly to get her attention. Oh, by the way, I never asked. Where exactly are we heading? Oh, you'll see. You mean we're not gonna watch from your house? No, no. I have something better in mind. Full of surprises, I see. I like it. I can't stop excitement from slowly building up in me by trying to figure out where we're heading. Wouldn't the fireworks... So, the fireworks are gonna be at the school... Like, you can probably see them from here, don't get me wrong, but, like, wouldn't you have a better view at the school because that's where they're launching the fireworks? So, like, you'd be able to see them better if you're, you know, right under the, the fireworks. <laughs> I'm not trying to ruin Yuri's plan here. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, yeah, you could probably see them from the park, but, like... Probably be better if you just stayed there. <laughs> it probably would have looked better if you stayed there. Because you'd be able to see them better. <laughs> it might shoot above the whole town. Why would the school festival fireworks shoot above the whole town? That's a little weird. <laughs> so this is a very... I didn't know the school festival was a town-wide event. <laughs> Maybe the sound would be too much for them that close. I mean, that would make... I See, that's a good reason if, like, MC said that and Yuri was doing that to, like, you know, help him. But I don't know. She, she made no implication that that was the reasoning. She just did this as if, like... As, the, as if she's just like, I, I, I want this to be romantic. Fuck you, MC. But who knows? Maybe she's gonna reveal that was her reason after all. Who knows? We'll have to see. But I don't know. Right under the fireworks is not a good is is not a good view. I suspect. I mean, it's. I mean, you're never gonna be right under it. Is my point. <laughs> my point. You're never gonna be right under it. But you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, wouldn't it be. Clo well, I'm pretty sure being closer to said fireworks would be better. It's the mob boss principal. He's using the fireworks as a cover for his robbery. They need to be big and loud. <laughs> He's gonna break in through the safe once the fireworks go off. He's gonna time it so that the sound of the safe collides with the sound of the fireworks. So then he's like, there we go, boys. Get the safe. Go. <laughs> All a part of his master plan. Ah, oh, principal, he's too good. <laughs> you know, 
Maybe I shouldn't be too surprised that she dragged me to the park. The atmosphere around here has a nice feeling to it. I do the feelings and memories of past events here. It's nice and calm tonight, just like every time I've been here. Ah, see what's going on now. Oh, ah, I see what's going on now. I like this. Her lovable smile makes her return. We're not quite there yet. We're not? Her shaking her head makes me more curious. What? Wait, you don't mean... Oh my god, yes! He's really happy about this. Happy following alongside her, we approach the tree line inside the park and enter. Yes! The park! <laughs> the spot on the lake! He's really happy about the spot on the lake. <laughs> yeah, baby! Woo! Let's go! <laughs> Time we have reached our spot on the lake. The darkness, the darkness, moon, and stars have covered the night sky. Our fallen down tree hasn't been touched since the last time I was here, and the sound of the water makes me feel at home. The both of us, still in hand, still hand in hand, carefully take our usual spots and take in the atmosphere, atmosphere. of everything while I breathe a sigh of relaxation. The air feels nice and crisp, and the breeze can be felt rustling throughout through our hair. <laughs> kind of surprised I didn't think of this before. Now I think I know why you don't want anyone to ruin this for you. Looks bashful for now for whatever reason. I... Well... I thought you would appreciate this. This girl knows how to make me smile. Feels right to smile as my eyes meet hers. I really do. Feels really nice to be back out here again. As my hand breaks away from hers, I look away from her and bring both arms in the sky in a somewhat silly fashion to let my air passages open up and take a deep breath. Water. Nature. Earth. Fire. <laughs> awesome. These are the elements. <laughs> Water. Nature. Moonlight. Atmosphere! Oh, how I love thee with a passion unfruited by civilizations for thousands of years. I'm gonna giggling out loud as I bring my arms down. I couldn't have said it better any better myself. After sharing a small joyous moment to ourselves, and not expecting a rather loud explosion could be heard in the background. I catch the both of us off guard, especially me, I was almost covering my ears out of instinct. That's when we look away from each other to see a bunch of yellow sparks in the night sky. Oh, it must have been a dud. Wait, they started? It's time. He said it with a somewhat confident tone, but Yuri remains quiet. There's a few more play out, not only the sky, but the water is filled with colors, which is quite enjoyable, if you ask me. It's a miracle that we can even see them from where we are. Ah! <laughs> There's a familiar echo and fizzle sound to them once the color from one disappears that adds to what's going on. Fireworks are one of those things that are super entertaining when I was little. But as I grew older, the appeal of them became less and less... Oh! <laughs> I hope that's normal. Looking over to Yuri, on the other hand, shows that she looks pretty enthralled by them with her mouth ajar. Just like earlier today when I asked her if she wants to see them. <laughs> I think I can catch a glimpse of the color shining in her eyes. This isn't quite something I would expect from someone her age. I probably shouldn't judge. They're so pretty. Oh my god! Stop it! <laughs> her voice is gentle, but also genuine, as if she's never experienced them before. In all reality, she's not wrong. Becoming nervous of what I just thought of, I make sure not to not look away from her. Just like a certain someone I know. <laughs> the green one's not that bad. <laughs> she may be smiling warmly as a flash of green fills the sky, but I can't tell if it's because of me or the fireworks. Still feeling nervous about everything that's going on, maybe I should speak up a little more and mention something about them. Did you know the fireworks used to scare me? Turning around to face me, she looks curious. Oh? How come? Well, mainly when I was really little. No, ah, I can see why! <laughs> From what my mom and dad told me, they were too loud for me and made me very upset. They said the same thing with fire trucks that would often drive by and the fire drill alarms at school. 
I guess I was able to handle stuff like that better and better as I grew older. I see. That was never really an issue for me growing up. Expression turns to one that conveys disappointment. However, this is my first time getting to enjoy them in person. Wait, for real? How come? Look down to the. Oh, no, I'm yawning! Oh, I'm yawning! I'm sorry! Dylan looks down to the ground of what I'm guessing is guilt or embarrassment or something. Well, you might think this is strange as well, but I don't know why my parents never took me to see them as a kid. It made me quite sad, as when they appeared in any of the books I've read, it brought upon the feelings of inadequacy, as I was never able to imagine them properly. But. What about, what about on TV or in movies? Guys, can you please stop it with the fire? This is a very serious moment. <laughs> what about on TV or in movies? It takes a moment to breathe in and out. That alone never did it justice. The sound here on TV is almost like an echo, as Monica once put it. Nothing like right now. Lifting her head up to the sky as more explosions happen in the background. I do the same and turn away to get an idea of what she's talking about. The distinct sounds that fireworks give off, hearing it in person. I never really stop to consider how artificial everything from the TV sounds. As a flash of orange shows up in the sky, a blinding sparkle gets caught in my peripheral vision. Instinctively turning my head to Yuri, a flash of yellow shines vibrantly on her purple hair clip. And the sun flash of light in the night sky reveals seemingly no imperfections on her face. That's rather unfortunate. I'm sorry to hear. The tone of voice becomes a little more serious. Zero, don't be sorry. Not for one second. Someone animated fashion. I raise an eyebrow to her as a flash of blue covers the land. Huh? In all the years of high school I've been in, I haven't once decided to stay for the festival, with last year being an exception. What was the point if I didn't have any friends to share it with? The experiences would have felt all for naught had I been all by myself. Hmm. That makes sense. But why shouldn't I feel bad? As she slowly directs her vision towards me instead of the fireworks, a small smile shows up in her face. Because you made today special for me. Even if I was being difficult or needy. I think I've just about drowned out the colors, the sounds, the everything that's going on around us. I carefully scoop closer to her until her arms and shoulders are touching, which I don't think she was expecting, but doesn't resist nonetheless, and blush while looking at her. Thank you too for making today special. She smiles warmly at me. I can't tell if she's blushing back due to the array of colors going on around us. There's a nice feeling with being this close to her, but it's making me nervous at the same time. Seeing her wonderful smile when I'm this close to her becomes etched into my mind. It makes my heart beat a little faster, and focusing on talking and breathing becomes a little more difficult. Hey. I'm really happy we were able to spend the festival together. I am too. You want to know what makes me even happier? She looks over me with curiosity and a hint of excitement plastered all over her face. Oh, do tell. Just, well... Yeah, we go to the same school, same club together, hang out together, have interesting conversations with each other. Just, ah! <laughs> Everything, I guess. Looking into her eyes shows that she's the one with starscapes in them now. Closing her eyes, she wraps her arm around mine and rests her head, up, her head on my head. I can't help but wrap my free arm around her shoulder and carefully rest my head on hers. Oh, there it is. CG. This is better than any tingly feeling I felt when we were at the club. I lean over slightly. I can get, I can get, I can get an up and close look at her genuine smile. It's absolutely beautiful. Was being this close, knowing that made the festival special for her, and our breathing slowly becoming in tandem. I speak gently to her as I want her to know how I feel. Hey, hey, princess. Yes, darling. Darling. This is one of my favorite feelings of all time. Or grip 
on me tightens, which instantly warms me up inside. Nothing in the past or future will ever feel like today. For the rest of the night, the fireworks continue to serve as background noise instead of the main attraction. With each ticking second that passed, I never once wanted this moment to end. Nothing else in the world seemed to matter anymore. Anything that life has to throw at us, I want to face it together with her. Dun, dun, dun. Chapter 8! Congratulations, you're officially halfway through the mod. Let's go! That scene was nice. Uh, like, the only problem I think I have with it is that I feel like the firework, there should, I feel like there shouldn't, there, some of the fireworks shouldn't happen during some of the talking, during some of the talking scenes. Some of the talking scenes it was fine in, I swear there were some serious moments where I was like, please fireworks, stop it! <laughs> That was all pretty nice, uh, and dandy. <laughs> you know, still upset, but uh, hopefully uh, Natsuki gets a little bit better. <laughs> Natsuki gets better treated. <laughs> you know, we can we can only hope. I'll say, yeah, fucking. It, it got a little hard for me to say princess because I was like, Ugh. <laughs> I don't, I don't go around calling people princesses. That's a little weird, <laughs> at least for me. But I was like, I'll I'll read it. <laughs> but, um. But yeah, so, so far though, things are going pretty well, I guess, you know. There's some silliness, like the principal. <laughs> but I don't know. Doesn't, we'll see if the principal even plays a big part in the story. If he really doesn't, then it doesn't really matter how silly he is, ultimately. <laughs> Him being silly is just being silly. Um, I mean, of course, obviously. Uh, I think, I've, I've already said, I think, any of my, my complaints I had. Like, <laughs> Yuri's mean thing she says to Natsuki. I was like, I prefer that to not be a reference, since out of context, that just... I, out of context of a reference, and even in context of a reference, it just, it feels like it's a kind of a weird thing to make that super important, you know, to the story. <laughs> or at least, like, super important to have a conversation where it's like, Yuri, what you said was really me. And she's like, I feel really bad what I said to Natsuki. And I'm just like, I don't even know what you said to Natsuki, lady. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, yeah, the festival was nice, went well, uh, you know, festival was cute. Oh, yeah, and like, I, I guess it went well. I guess the f festival going well. Look at that. I predicted it. Look at that. <laughs> Just you wait until chapter nine, the heist. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the principal does play a role. <laughs> also, every single side character that's introduced in that chapter gets used to progress the plot later on. Oh, okay. So that means the principal. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the, pr the principal's heist continues. So anyway, uh, that is it. If you want to download this mod for yourself, the link will be in the description below. And yeah, this has been Zero. Peace.